All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. She is still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. Hailing the break-even now, Captain. Oh, um, hello, Starfleet. No hard feelings, right? I had to send that distress signal. If I didn't, that crazy Klingon was... And, um, because Starfleet's always ready to help and all, uh, could you help me repair my ship? Uh, I, I'm grateful for all you've done to save my ship and cargo already. But the sooner I can get out of here, the sooner I'll be safe from K-Deck. Press up to increase your ship speed. Press down to decrease your ship speed. Use the left stick to pitch downward or upward, as well as to turn left or right. stopped us this time, sir, but from now on, you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the ship. Looks like she just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Position yourself near the ship and press A to interact with it. like we're on our own. At least they said thank you, I guess. About that cloaked ship full of Klingons? Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostics shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple a ship. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to war. We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have intact plasma injectors. I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Press the right trigger to fire energy weapons. An item has dropped for you. Move towards the item to automatically loot it. Taking through scraps we've left behind. Yeah, that guy's getting annoying.
These plasma injectors will do the trick, sir. Gorgeous technology. Type R, if I had to guess. 3.7 liter flow put with shielded reservoirs and a drop flow induction coil. You have your problems, I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level one diagnostic. <laughs> we don't- Zarva's dealing with the warp corp, but until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Klingon battlecruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Tevrel has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the ambush. I, I recommend that we destroy the jamming satellites. We'll be able to... You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Use your plasma beam to weaken shielded targets. your torpedoes on an enemy when their shield is down. Warning, ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed. Communications are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? That Klingon ship took some real damage. I'll bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. Understood. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. Got it. I'll send the source of the plasma signature to navigation. It will show up on the map. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. I can make your death swift! Hold up on the D-pad to activate and deactivate full impulse.
Her ship is outfitted with phaser beam banks. These weapons have a 270 degree firing arc. This is the firing arc for the forward phaser banks. This is the firing arc for the rear phaser banks. Note that both the forward and rear phasers have an overlapping arc of fire on the sides of your ship. Firing at enemies within the overlapping portion of your firing arcs is known as broadsiding. This allows both the forward and rear phaser banks to fire on the same target at the same time, increasing your damage output. Federation captains who prefer beam bank weapons favor the broadside technique and will often circle their target, keeping them within the broadside arc at all times. Torpedo. High yield torpedo will increase the power of your next torpedo attack. Incoming transmission, sir. It is from Starfleet. This is Captain Volok of the USS Renown. Do you require assistance? A Klingon captain would have to be very bold to travel this far into Federation territory. Where is Captain Taggart? And did you follow his orders? So, I take it you are in command now. Very well. We will escort your ship to Earth's space dock. And if he reveals his position, 
he will be dealt with accordingly. Until then, you are to set a course for our position. Renown out. S.S. Kittimer that... One moment. My communications officer informs me that we are unable to contact the Kittimer. We will proceed to their coordinates to determine if they require assistance, and your ship will accompany us. I hereby grant you a field promotion. This will give you the proper authority over your crew and final decision-making ability for your ship until we reach Earth space dock and report to Admiral Quinn. We're here, Captain. The USS Kittimer is dead ahead, and the Renown is beside us. Our orders are to make contact with the Kittimer and find out why they've not responded to our hails. Yes, sir. I will require approximately 15 seconds to make the necessary adjustments. Ah, Captain Volog. Captain Taggart? What are you both doing here? We 
attempted to inform you that the Renown would be escorting these cadets back to Earth's space dock, but we were unable to establish a subspace link. I thought it prudent to investigate. I'm relieved to see both of you. The anomalies must be interfering with our communications. Where is Captain Taggart? These cadets were the unfortunate victims of a Klingon ambush. Captain Taggart is dead, and the ship is under the command of this cadet. The Renown was escorting them back to Earth's space dock, but when we could not raise the Kittimer, I deemed it imperative to alter our course and assess the situation. Captain Yim, what is your status? I'm troubled by the anomalies in this system, and if they're affecting long-range communications, then they're doubly a cause for concern. Let's do this by the numbers. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the anomalies. With all three ships collecting data, we should be able to complete this quickly and formulate a course of action. The Renown has the largest science team, so I recommend we send our data there for analysis. Any questions? Press right on the D-pad to set your ship's power levels to have a focus on attack, defense, auxiliary, or speed. Traces of gamma radiation, but there's something off in the readings. Dish is realigned for reverse tachyon pulse wave, sir. Picking up a transwarp signature. It's right on top of us! The Borg! Ship is
emergency medical hologram aboard the USS Kittimer. I am requesting assistance from any Federation vessel in range. I've lost contact with the bridge. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. The Borg were brutally efficient on the Kittimer. The emergency medical hologram may be in command simply because no one else is fit to do so. The Borg have not been seen in the Alpha Quadrant in decades. Their arrival cannot simply be a coincidence. However, I hesitate to speculate without the full data from all of the probes. I will send teams to aid the Kittimer. You will have to finish the scans. We need to know the extent of the Borg presence here. You must also inform me if you or your crew are unable to continue. The Borg evoke a strong emotional response that can rattle even trained Starfleet officers. A crew of cadets that have already survived a Klingon attack may be unable to cope. We're scared. We all studied Admiral Janeway's Borg tactics, but no one thought we'd have to use them so soon. It's good that the Renown and Kittimer are here, but I know we need to be ready for the day when we're alone against the Collective. The counselors are already working with the crew. Do you want them to convey a message from you? Understood. I'll give the crew your message. How are you holding up, Captain? science team is analyzing it now. Our tactical teams have eliminated the Borg boarding parties on the Kittimer. Why do you ask? There is an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you.
multiple Borg Warp signatures detected. It's an invasion force. We're outnumbered. There's no way we can... system as a staging area for a larger invasion. Long-range sensors are already detecting inbound transwarp signatures. The most likely target for a first strike is the Vega system. There is a civilian colony there, and if the Borg could take it by surprise, they would have large numbers of new drones at their disposal. Very observant of you. The Renown is better equipped to hold off further Borg attacks and assist the Kittimer. We must remain here. Once you have warned the colony, return to Earth's space dock. We have to make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not... Shields up! Red alert! It is imperative that you warn the colony at Vega of the impending attack. We will do what we... Congratulations. You are now in sector space. Air ships travel at warp speed through the systems. Combat does not take place in sector space.
we arrived before the Borg. Now my heart can start beating again. What are your- Tavrell managed to establish a comm link with Willa Post, the administrator of Vega Colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're gonna get. Putting her- Greetings, Captain. Is there something I could do for you today? Repeat, please. Your signal is breaking up. Did you see the Borg? What about them? I have lost contact with Vega Colony, sir. Something is blocking all subspace signals in this area. Even our hails to the civilian ships are not getting through. There is a communication satellite nearby. It should boost our signal sufficiently to inform the freighters of the danger and warn the colony. Hails are still blocked, sir. The Borg may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Your orders, sir. Borg are jamming up any remote signals. It's not safe to beam through that. I think I can boost the gain, though. Transwarp conduits opening all over the system, Captain. The Borg are here. Those civilian ships are right in the Borg's path. We have to help them. I have short-range communications. Long-range signals are still blocked. 
I can contact the planet and have informed Administrator Post of the situation. However, the Borg have already landed and are moving toward the colony. It may be more prudent to retreat back to the Renown, sir. Borg landing craft detected nearby. Captain, there are civilian ships engaging them. Civilian ships, you are ordered to disengage and retreat. We will cover you. have landed and the colony won't be able to hold them off for long. I recommend beaming down to Vega and getting as many people out as we can. already assimilated by the Borg. At the rate they're progressing, the region we're in will be overrun in roughly one hour. And if that wasn't bad enough, the interference is affecting the ship's transporters. No, sir. I'll follow your lead. one of those Borg ships from orbit. Are we too late? Those landing ships don't just carry drones. They can pop nanoprobes directly into the ground and the atmosphere. We need to hurry. The Borg will be in this area soon.
thank you. We didn't know if anyone from Starfleet got our distress signal, and we don't have any weapons. But we do have some spare armor suits for you and your officer. They're in the crates next to the gate. This code will open the gate. Please, Administrator Post and some of the others are still there. You have to save them. would have assimilated me by now. What's the situation? Are you bringing more Starfleet reinforcements? I see. Then it's true. Vega is doomed. A single starship cannot hope to stop this. Still, there is more to do. Many citizens are hiding in their homes. We cannot abandon them to the Borg. I know. Coles and I have been trying to get around the interference field. Thank you for tagging the people you found, and getting them safely transported to your ship. No, there are dozens more hiding out in the buildings, but Coles and I have a plan. 
We think a pattern enhancer will do the trick. And that can transport the remaining citizens to your ship. But first, I'd like to offer you some equipment. Vega is... you think you can hold off the Borg? Remember when we thought fighting a crazed Klingon was the worst thing that could happen today? to the ship, Captain. save everyone. Those you did save will be forever in your debt. Glad to do anything I can. I was born on them. There's no way I'm sitting by and letting the board take it without a fight. All right, Coles, you're gonna see friends who've been assimilated. Don't hesitate.
The Borg are activating the transport inhibitor. We need to disable that force field. The Borg are so... what's the word? Effective? Systematic? Evil. I'm gonna go with evil. to the brim with civilians, Captain. I don't think we could fit one more soul on this ship. Communications are still jammed, so we can't reach the Renown or the Kittimer. The immediate problem is the civilian ships in this system. Vega's a huge trading outpost. There are always ships traveling here. We need to warn them the Borg have taken over. Possibly, but what we need to do is hightail it out of here with these civilians. Of course, the path to the satellites does lead away from the planet, so we could remotely reconfigure them as we leave. The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. <laughs> 